Hello, I'm Krista Cup, and you're watching the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, April 6th. Last week, a federal district court in Illinois wrongly ruled that the Second Amendment does not protect a right to carry firearms for self-protection outside the home. The NRA funded this challenge to Illinois' ban on citizens' ability to carry firearms legally outside their homes and businesses for self-defense and will also be supporting an immediate appeal to the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals and to the Supreme Court if necessary. The decision in the case of Shepard v. Madigan misreads the Supreme Court's Second Amendment decisions and will continue to deprive law-abiding citizens in Illinois of the right to protect themselves effectively against crime on the streets. It also conflicts with a growing body of case law elsewhere in the country where courts have increasingly recognized that the right to bear arms for self-defense doesn't end at Americans' front doors. Stay tuned as NRA continues this challenge, and for more information on this and other critical Second Amendment cases, please sign up for our free legal update newsletter at www.nraila.org slash legal update. And now for an important legislative alert. Because the expansion of America's urban and suburban areas has crowded out so many shooting areas and made it increasingly difficult to find a place to shoot, last September, U.S. Senators Mark Udall and Jim Risch introduced Senate Bill 1249, a bill that would help remedy this problem by promoting the construction and maintenance of target ranges on public lands. In the U.S. House of Representatives, Representatives Heath Schuler and Duncan Hunter introduced a companion bill, H.R. 3065. This legislation would amend the Pittman-Robertson Act, a 70-year-old federal law that uses federal excise taxes on firearms and ammunition to fund wildlife conservation programs and the construction of shooting ranges. The bill's improvements to the Pittman-Robertson Act would allow the state's far greater ability to purchase land, build new target ranges, and improve the ranges that currently exist. And just last month, Senators Udall and Risch sent a letter to the Committee on Environment and Public Works, Chairman Barbara Boxer, Ranking Member James Inhofe, urging them to hold a hearing on the bill. This would be a step toward having it pass committee and be ready to be taken up by the full Senate for a vote. For more information on these stories and for other up-to-date legislative alerts, please visit our website at www.nraila.org.